Peru is home to over 28 million people. And despite the economic achievements of the past several years, over one third of those people still live in poverty. Two out of every 10 children under five years old suffer from chronic malnutrition. In rural areas, that figure is doubled. 11 of every 1,000 infants die before completing their first month of life, and for every 100,000 live births, 185 mothers do not survive. But with the help of the Healthy Communities and Municipalities Project, this dark panorama has begun to change. Almendras is one of 515 communities that have been working with the Healthy Communities Project since 2006. Before that, Almendras was facing many problems. There was terrorism and drug trafficking too. The community was disorganized. There was no organization. The animals wandered into our gardens. We were always ill because we didn't know proper hygiene. Diarrhea, malnutrition, anemia. But all this has changed. It's very different now. This is the home of the Pisco Guerra family. They were encouraged by community leaders to take charge of their health together with their neighbors. We started keeping our homes and gardens clean. We realized that everything was messy, so we cleaned things up and made it nice and tidy. We now have a little washing area, a place for our clean water, and a separate space for cooking. We didn't before. We drink chlorinated water and we wash our hands after using the toilet and before we eat. I'm giving Danfer his pureed food now. I met my husband here in Almendras. At first, he didn't like the taste of chlorinated water, but as time went by, he got used to it. He helps me wash the dishes and sweep the floor when I'm busy. I feel better. Much better now that our home is a healthy one. I'm really happy with our healthy life. Edwin Mosombite is a natural leader, yet still, he needed training to lead his community towards a healthier future. The project has given us training and uh, taught us to speak with families and help them understand. We have learned the skills needed to lead a community. We have engaged with the health and education workers in our community. With their help, we are now a healthy community. This is the map of our community. This is the community's history, our vision. These are the instruments we use in our community. These are our rules for coexistence. Our community diagnostic and action plan we put together every year. This is the maternal and child health monitoring tool. 
As members of the Village Development Committee, it is our responsibility to visit homes, to make sure that women who are pregnant or breastfeeding are going to the clinic for their checkups. Children should have all their vaccinations and be eating properly. We go together with community representatives on their house visits. We hold educational and hands-on sessions, and like that, we are working to raise the community's awareness. I really enjoyed the parade, the dancing and the puppets. In terms of what we have accomplished as a community, our children are not undernourished anymore. Pregnant women go to all their prenatal checkups and give birth at a health establishment. Most women here use some form of family planning. We are also working with the teenage girls so they do not get pregnant at such a young age. The municipal government is the level of government closest to the community. The community has been empowered. They are getting rid of a number of diseases, which means significant savings for both the households and for the community. We have witnessed the improvement in their quality of life. Every six months, community leaders administer a maternal and child health monitoring tool and then deliver that information to their municipal government. This health information system is really interesting. It is called Sismuni, and it helps the communities collect information and then use that information to prioritize their projects and proposals. This improves the quality of projects. The technical staff here at the district level also have this up-to-date information with which to improve the quality of education, health and basics infrastructure, which is what our community really lacks. Our task is to continue training new leaders, because the same people cannot lead forever. Today, the community faces a new challenge, how to maintain the progress made as they transfer to new leadership. I have finished my term in office, now we have a new president. All of this must be done, Miguel. People will welcome you when you go on your visits. Don't worry. We work well together. I work closely with him. I ask him about his own experience, and that's how we work together. I am committed to continue working with the committee, collaborating with the new president on whatever the community may need. The community elected me, and for that I am happy, because I want to work for my community, and that is what I am going to do. As a leader, I am happy to see how hard people have worked. It is now simply how we do it. It's a custom we have adopted. No one can take that away from us because we have discovered the importance of taking care of our health for our community, homes, and especially for our children. Many communities in Peru, just like Almendras, do not have electricity. But by harnessing their leadership capabilities and empowering their inhabitants, their nights are not so dark anymore. <laughs>